Hi, I'm Andrew from Dartmoor Wildcrafts, and uh, I'm, today I'm going to show you how to make one of the uh, chief tools of the Mesolithic, um, which will be the tortoise shell core. And this was a tool that uh, uh, was very prevalent in the Ice Age. Um, it's a great way of getting your hands on some materials and reconnecting with the past and um, forming a bond with those people who lived 20 to 30,000 years ago. What we're going to use today is a piece of flint. I've broken it off of a larger cobble. And we're going to use this piece of flint to, uh, and by using a, an antler hammer, we're going to create flakes off the side. Now what we normally use those flakes for is for, for scrapers or blades or cutting tools or perhaps things to bore holes in things. But this was really the, the Swiss Army knife tool of its day. Um, so I'm going to take this cobble and I'm going to render this down um, by taking some flakes off and then you're going to start to see why it's called a, a tortoiseshell cobble. It was a very lightweight um, piece of equipment that could be carried all over the place and anytime you wanted a sharp edge for anything you just knock one off and use it for that that thing and then the next time you can use a, a fresh one uh, nice and sharp so that's how do we that's how do we do it so we take our flint cobble what I'm using here is a piece of flint I want something with a flat top we're going to put T on the top for, for flat top and what you're going to do is you're actually going to see me work everything except the top of this this cobble so holding the cobble upright and at an angle at about 20 degrees. What I'm going to do is to start to strike flakes off the bottom of this and we're going to progress around here and as you move I'll strike then I will move then I will move and what this is doing every time we do this we're getting these usable flakes underneath and these are essentially like little razor blades you could shave with these little tiny razor blades that we're knocking off the bottom. Here's the blade core underneath. And every one of these that we, we knock off we can use to make a tool out of, we could make an arrow point out of this, we can use them to skin, scrape, we can use them to bore holes in leather, lots of things that we can use it for. As we continue around our cobble, if we wanted to make a thicker blade, something that we could get our, whole, our hand on, if we were, let's say we were skinning a deer or something, we might come in a little bit further And make something that actually we can hold with our hand, hold with wet or bloody hands. But all we do is keep going round, and we can strike usable flakes as we go round. And as we start to move the material, the, if we turn the top, the top over, it starts to look like a tortoise shell, which is anthropologically where this this blade core gets its name. It, all it is really is a piece of rock that we're predictably knocking off different flakes for for different uses. So let's say for example we wanted to take a flake, we wanted to to make something called a burin. What we would actually do is place that onto another rock and hit it and now we have a, a piece of flint with a pyramid shaped top and that's excellent for engraving. You can actually see very quickly and easily scrapes into this very hard antler with just that tiny tool. Once it gets blunt we just make another. If for example we wanted to make a tool to skin, a, uh, skin an animal or something like that we would use that material, uh, use the same technique and we produce our blade here. It has a sharp edge. We can use that to skin the animal or open the carcass. As, it, as we use it, it will dull, and we wanted to resharpen it. We could resharpen it by touching it up like this with the antler. And then that produces a serrated edge, which we can use for scraping meat from bone. We can use it for processing uh, wood and making our spears. So it's a, it's a pretty Swiss Army knife type, uh, type tool, this, this blade core. And of course, all we need to do is carry this and something to knock it with. It could be a rock, it could be a piece of antler like this. But as we use it, it sets up the next blade for the next job. And that is the tortoiseshell cobble.